Welcome everybody. Uh, if you're watching this, you survived part one of our Gebruder Hoibach figurine program. Uh, welcome back to the Village Stall Shop. Becky and Andy here. Uh, we wanted to do part two of our collection of Hubach figurines. So, <laughs> well, I'm just thinking the word survive. Do you know how many times I've climbed up and down stairs bringing these dolls back and forth? So, we've survived it, but yep. you know, we're, we're better for it. So, we've well, had our exercise. We filled up the shop uh, for part one and we've trucked it all back upstairs and to the third it all floor and put it back. And now we've filled the shop again with a whole new batch of goodies to show you, so. Well, and also, while we were doing all that, we realized that we hadn't included any dolls. And I think a lot of you probably collect Hubach dolls, maybe not the figurines, but we, the reason we're showing the figurines is the figurines came before the dolls, so the figurines actually influenced mm -hmm. them a lot of the dolls and you'll see in some of their faces. So we just brought down some of ours to share with you. We'll show you some of the different characters and all bisques and um, maybe just show you some highlights. All right, are you ready to get started? Sure, all right. Okay, everyone, we go. back to my magnificent camera work. Where do you want to start, Becky? Well, I think you should start at the beginning of the dolls, right? Well. In general, uh, most people consider the beginning of the Hubach dolls uh, as 1910, during the character reform movement. But there actually were a few instances that they made dolls for other companies before 1910. Mm -hmm. So the two here, what do you have? Well, Show these them. were two very popular models, and I think other people made them. Like, this is Santa, and obviously Simon Halbig made mm -hmm. the Santa doll. And you can tell the Humach molds, because look at their noses are like real rounded and turned up. Um, this is Santa, and she has the, you know, the Santa mark, and she's got the uh, Hubox sunburst. Now, Santa was a U.S. Um, only made doll imported by the, what was it, Hamburger and Company, which was a... <laughs> the cheeseburger yes, makes company? Me hung, <laughs> makes, me, makes me hungry. Um... Uh, imported for the American market. They were an American company uh, hiring German doll porcelain factories to make th heads for them. So, then what do you have here? Well, this is Dolly Dimple. Once and, again, another hamburger import. Yeah. And I, I think other companies, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know other companies made that, obviously, Simon Halbig, but you know, she's obviously. They're just not very nicely dip. made Dolly face dolls. So, this one's a shoulder head one, mm -hmm. too. You told me to find a shoulder head because I think that's the first one they made. Was well, the shoulder head? Um, Hubach made, uh, I'm not sure of, of that, but at 19, what, the 1907, 1908, the, the Dolly Dimples? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's what you said to me, somewhere along the line. Yep. And then uh, in 1910, with the, such, the strength of the character reform movement, I think they went into the doll market with both feet and started making they jumped in yeah they jumped in with both feet yes and started making just Some hundreds of, of different molds and i think for collectors they have probably more variety than anybody else now this the character I, reform movement was perfect for them because look at the amount of expression that they put in their dolls. Look at, look at his eyelids. I mean, this, see how much they resemble the if, piano babies? If you compare their earlier, like a dolly face, and then you go to a character doll, you see the huge difference. Well, you see, right back to the same thing we talked about in program one with the deep intaglio eyes mm -hmm. and, the, and the crisp modeling and the molded hair. Now, I was thinking he might have been one of their early ones because... Remember how they invented the baby body mm -hmm. about 1909 and these are 1910. So this was probably pretty state of the art. Mm -hmm. And this now look at this incredible. guy. This, this is a bonnet head and it's almost like a lace bonnet molded yeah, I, I got pink. a good shot of it there. Yeah. Oh, wow. I know, it's amazing. And dimpled and little toddler body. But this is almost directly taken from a yeah, yeah, it looks like it's just been lopped off of a figurine. <laughs> yeah. You know what I say sometimes to people? What's that? Well, this doll has such great modeling. It's almost, it could be a figurine. Because, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as, as time went on and they overused the molds, some of the molding got softer. But 
Some of these are just so crisp. And who's this back here? Well, that's my teddy bear. Oh, oh, oh he's fantastic because he's, again, you remember the black figurines we had? Well, he, they obviously continue the tradition. And look at his molding. Yeah. Isn't he adorable? And it's got the, you know, side glancing eyes were so popular after. Look at how deep his molding. After the cupies and. Look at that. Googlies. Do you see his eyes? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Beautiful lips, beautiful painting. Uh, amazing detail on the hair. I mean, he's pretty awesome. Yep. There's his mark. And there's the mark we showed you in the last program. Yep. The sunburst. I love him. I had to go hunt him down. And, and then, well, of course, the ever popular whistler. No whistling allowed. <laughs> Here. Yeah. And yeah. they have that little bellows, makes a little whistling sound. And now he has a square mark. I think you had something to say about that, but I can't remember. Mm -hmm. You said one was after 19. I think after 1910 is yeah. the square mark. Yeah. So And he's a flame. But you head. see both marks uh, used contemporaneously. Yeah. Now, the this is a flange. These are all, now that's a shoulder. These are all sockets. Mm hmm. Now this is a pretty famous, now I collect tiny little character dolls. So this is one of their um, smiling girls with the, uh, I've never seen another one in this size with the uh, blue band yep. and the and double rows of teeth. That reminds me of the figurines too. Yep, oh she's total. And this one we had to really hunt down and I do have another one but I can't find it. This is probably what, five or six inches? And it's not a composition body. Turn it towards us, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Well, I was actually just checking it out. Okay. And it has sleep eyes. Is that a, a 6969? It's a, ooh, we wanted one of these. 7246. 7246. <laughs> See? That, that's, that's the extent of the mold numbers that we usually remember. I know, we, we went over them at lunch. Um, <laughs> I think it's marked, look at that. I think it's like 13 over zero. Which, so tiny. I know, which is mm -hmm. 13 reduction. Is that, that's a more normal size pouty back there. Yeah, she's a 6970. Mm -hmm. And they use, I meant to have those girls all next to each other, but regional costumes were frequently used on for dressing. Sure. And, oh, back here while I have this guy out is the ever popular spinner. Now that's Boy. a true character. Now that's outrageous. Looks and what uh, so much expression mm -hmm. it's like you know when your mother said don't make that face uh, <laughs> you might freeze that way i was gonna say this might be <laughs> me after a few more weeks of quarantine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know uh, we, week one and we're getting along yeah this could i think we're gonna make it kid. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh i want to see this great chubby boy right in front of you oh he's awesome he's one of my favorites Look at his face. I don't Ooh, know if you can zoom fast. in on him. Look at that modeling. Now that is a total piano baby. Look at his face. Oh, is he moving? We're having an earthquake. No, I'm just kidding. Not on top of everything else. <laughs> it's wonderful. Isn't he great? Now I'm going to make you look at the back of him. Because look at how they molded the, the rolls of fat. Oh, gosh. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. They lost nothing. And the body is amazing, too. Now, Hubach did sell their heads to a lot of different companies. Mm -hmm. So some of their bodies are incredible like this. Oh. And then some of oh, the bodies are... Oh, your head. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and then some of their bodies are just kind of like stick bodies, cheap, but you know, still nice dolls. They always, the quality of the Hubop is always pretty fabulous. Um, this is an odd one because I think it's like 7711, don't bark, Teddy. Um, now look at, get close, Andy, it's got an open mouth, but it mm -hmm. almost doesn't look it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a, a rare character. And then speaking of rare characters, this is another girl that's pretty hard to find. Oops, there goes her hat. Well, we wanted to see her hair. That's true. And She's she cute. looks a lot like a figurine. Yes. Well, actually, you know what head this is? It's almost exactly the head of the girl that's holding the doll, the, the figurine I want. Um, mm -hmm. so, so until then, She's I'll just sweet. have to hold the doll. Is that made from the pink bisque? Well, funny you should ask, and you're gonna get, I'm gonna answer that in one second. 
Um, I just want to show the popular singer. Oh, I'm sure. Isn't she cute? Now that's another one that's so much like a piano baby. Mm-hmm. And she's pretty. And I like how they did their hair. They sort of striped it. If you want to show detail. Oh, yeah. The brush stroking. Mm-hmm. Get it to focus. Sorry, folks. There it is. And... They did a lot of molded bows and molded hair. And... So, did you want to ask about... I was asking about the pink bisque. Okay. Well, what? I took this one. I just took the wig off of it so you could show the... Oop. Just keep it in one position. So... I wanted to talk about this just briefly. All the figurines were made from white slip uh, porcelain. Uh, and a lot of the dolls, um, they're very innovative. They just, they invented this uh, using pink tinted, pre-tinted porcelain before it was fired. It eliminated the step of having to uh, tint the bisque pink when it was uh, bisque wear. You want to turn it around so we can show them? But some people actually question, you know, because there are, you know, I, I don't want to touch on that subject too much because it's a can of worms, but there are reproductions and people do um, but ask the, about that. But the, the pink, pink is bisque definitely is original. original. No, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying, the pink mm -hmm. bisque. But some yep. people it's question sweet, that. sweet pouty. Oh, it's cute. It's a uh, 7246. Mm -hmm. Where do we want we'll to go, go next? Well, I think we'll look at some of the old bisque because that's another... Um, so that's almost like a jointed piano baby, essentially. And th this little girl, th this little pair are twins, correct? Mm. Andy, I'll, I'm going to Oh, is this a test? This is a test. Oh. Are they twins? Look well. At them. Wow, look at them. Sure they are, until you see that this one's... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's messing with me. I know. What, what do you call this next this socket? It's an eye Don't so, go so fast. <laughs> Can't follow you. Well, what do you... What's so the, the iagoti? Iagoti is um, it's a conglomeration of, of um, um, I can't remember the name of the manufacturer, but they order dolls from. Is it Olhaver or something or Revalo yes. or? It's not Revalo. Yeah, um, ask me so fast. Uh, no, it's all right. <laughs> Once again, um, we should have practiced. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> um, nobody needs to practice this stuff. Uh, iagoti is basically what they mark their the products they made Hubach made for that company cuz you know Hubach was a porcelain factory and would work for anybody oh, so and they make... requested this next one yes oh okay yeah. mm -hmm. and then what they had the else? patent on the iagoti oh okay and then somebody else has made this is that exactly a stiff neck yeah that's yeah. what's so weird about mm -hmm. it that's why I was tricking you and now this is your basic now this is the smallest size. This is, I think, the largest size all bisque. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry, Andy, but <laughs> can we you just stay up me. there? No. <laughs> there we go. Now look how cute she is. Mm -hmm. Now this has all the characteristics that I want to show. I mean, this is typical of a Hubach all bisque. It has the sort of starfish hands, but the two fingers are together. A lot of the figurines also mm -hmm. have that. And then they always have these chubby, chubby legs with. Big brown Mary Jane shoes with short ankle socks and and that size came Iagoti as well. Mm -hmm. And this one's unusual because it has a molded loop for hair ribbon. That's neat. Mm -hmm. So that one's cute. And then I have another one over in the corner, but this is you know the one with the three bows. I like this size, so I collect these. Mm -hmm. And the bows are glazed, and it's glazed just like her. But I don't oh. dare move it over there. Like who? Her, but I don't okay. dare move. <laughs> well, just tell me where you're going. Where well, you go? I know where I'm going. Thank you. So, and then, whoops, this is her brother. There's a boy. There's only one boy in this whole series. There's lots of different girls, but the dolls, I've only had one, this one boy face. Lucky guy. I know. He's cute. Mm -hmm. A little smile. And then these are these are like coquettes. These are a pair. Mm -hmm. Same, but you see all the same characteristics. The arms are, you know, sort of out. And they can either be like cupy, straight like cupy, or they can have a bend in the elbow. 
They come both ways, except this odd. So would you say all this stuff is, you know, nineteen fifteen ish? Yeah, it's that cupid era. Mm -hmm. Now look at this little guy. Mm -hmm. And and what's interesting is he's ready for a fight. Well, yeah, because he's got and all the other ones have starfish hands. That's but that's great. a pretty cute face. Sweet. And that one has blue, blue shoes. What is this group of babies here? Well, then I realized that I collected these two. And I found these with some of my albisks. But, you know, these are these are smaller albisks. And they're clearly Cupid era. And look at that little face. That it's mouth. An look angry at the, little dude. It's like a triangle shape now. Yeah. And this, you know, it's the regular... It's loop strong. Loop strong. Almost mm -hmm. like a I have a jointed cupid that's just like him. And then look at this face. Mm -hmm. This is me when I was returning all my hue box to their rightful places yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why did I do this? Look at the little look at that. That's your ponytail. Yeah. No, thank you. And then this one has a um, molded loop too. And then this guy, they made a whole series of these. Little hue box. They're. He's got like, like a spyglass. Yeah, or? he's got a spyglass and a and a squinting eye, but they're sort so, of like position babies. Mm -hmm. I have a bunch of them. Who's that funny, grumpy looking guy back there? That's Andy. <laughs> 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 Look at him. Look at how cute he is. Now, that's mean. Yeah, he's handsome. <laughs> I know. Look at that face. Ooh, focus. There we go. Now that's a look. Yeah. Now, that's a look. That's you tomorrow morning when I tell you to carry these all back upstairs. Um, mm. And then this is me. I have See, something to look forward to. Yeah, that's it. Look at that little face. And she's another all bisque. She kind of goes with him, I guess. They have the same. They both wear those little keystone shoes. Mm -hmm. And then there's this sweet little one. Not too happy, but cute. Little ponytail. And of course, I would have to have a cat, right? Mm -hmm. He's amazing. He's great. Yeah. Now, is there a... Um, There's not a dog. Yeah. Of course I'd have I knew the answer, but I'm asking for the audience. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then this is a little googly. Yeah, classic googly. Yeah. Ooh. Well, actually, it's kind of odd looking. Well, but, you know, side glancing. Oh, yeah, but it's got these big chubby chipmunk cheeks. It's cute. And then there's the ever popular Stuart. Yeah, Stuart. He's yeah. in with my miniature character collection. This is what we call and and what's interesting for this program going with the figurines. Remember all those flowers painting painted on all the figurines? It's just it was easy for them to do Are that they type of decoration. With flowers. Oh, she goes with him. Look at this. They're going back together. And then there's another googly, and then. Uh, Cutest of all. Oh. <laughs> but I have to show him. I know, but just go slower. <laughs> See the winker? He's great. Yeah. He's cute. Uh, I said to you yesterday, there's no program complete without a winker, right? Mm -hmm. Cat. Who's on the top row here? Well, oh, we forgot. We forgot. When we were showing, well, maybe this well, is no, we'll, we'll go yeah. back to it. All right. This, this is a very unusual thing. This is weird. I found this in the basement. <laughs> oh, don't look underneath. <laughs> I took it off a body because it was on a horrible body, but I bought it because it had that. A very unusual. This is an Igoti patent um, dolly face. Mm -hmm. And it's. Uh, it says Igoti on it. Who knew? Well. You think we would look at the stuff. So there it is. This is a very unusual, unusual doll. And look at that. It has the Hubach mold numbers. And this is a good illustration of why we. The Iagoti, instead of having the socket uh, part of the head, the socket is part of the shoulder. So that's where that, that's where the it has a lot of it has much better uh, swiveling capabilities. Mm -hmm. And I only brought him down just I found him in the basement too because I wanted to show you know like the inside is I mean it's not super pink but it's pink tinted. Mm -hmm. Some of them are actually almost like a darker pink. There's the pink. Solid. And then I just slip. thought we'd point out the deep modeling again, just because I could. Yep. He's a big boy. 
Okay. Hey, pretty lips. All right. Okay, and then I put this up here because this is the third bonnet. Can we just leave them up there? Sure, but I wanted to show you the third bonnet because there's Stuart baby bonnet and then there's this bonnet and then there's that odd. Yeah, look at the quilting. Yeah. And, and then there's some odd, oh, he's cute, isn't he? Yeah, he's, I don't know who he is. I've seen him larger before too. Yep. Yeah. And then there's this funny little girl with buck teeth and glass eyes. And, and classic, classic coquette. Coquette, yep. Again, that same blue band. And I think coquette oh. was from, just for made for the American market. Well, I've I guess that. you've been researching. Yeah. I do know how to read. I know. So I said, I guess you've been researching. I spent a lot of time playing dolls. Um, or reading about Abraham. Or, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. My, my latest obsession. Um, this is... Oh, I know why I took this down. Can I just show this? Because mm -hmm. most of these that have wigs have glass eyes, but they did make... <laughs> this camera thing. I know. <laughs> Hang on, folks. <laughs> they did I'm trying. Make, they did make some with um, painted eyes and a wig. There he is. Yeah, so I just wanted to show that that was a possibility. Oh, and I also found him. I wanted to show flocked hair. Oh, you're coming down. Well, he's got flocked hair, and how are you going to show that up there? You want to turn him? Well, yeah. Well, no. he's, he's losing a little bit. What is flocking made of? Hair? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, what's flocking? Oh, I just made? thought you'd. I don't know that. I don't know either. I just thought I'd ask. Well, I'm assuming they just blew some fibers there, on oh, them. Sorry. I mean, isn't it glue that they... Mm -hmm. And there's, you see the, uh, the intaglio eyes. Yeah. I, I think they stuck to that. It was, so, you know, so much easier than having to put glass eyes in. And they were so good at those realistic painted eyes. So. Yeah. But of course, some people, you know, I mean, a big thing was putting your dolls to bed and putting them to sleep. So... And this, this is kind of just like a mint little factory original, you know, 6969 that I wanted to show. Yeah, classic pouty. Yeah. So, so we have some, uh, where are we going next? We have some special stuff well, to show. Well, we're going to show another section of, I can collect these um, boxes. Well, wow, these are like candy containers and spill vases. So we're back to more of the figurine, but this is sort of more utilitarian, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Where do you want to begin? You wouldn't believe how much money I found. I've been sticking dolls. Oh, over. see, there was stashed oh my God, in there. I found a ton, so I was excited. Um, you can't do anything with it. We're stuck in the house. No, I said, oh, well, you, I gave you some the other day, but that's a candy container, and he's a boy in a sled, and that's a candy container. I suppose he probably originally had skis, which I. I'm sure you'll make for me in the next couple of weeks. I have some time. I know. Sorry That's what I was going to say. Make me some. Make me some. And then these are all Easter related. Um, <laughs> so I'm assuming they probably put candy in them. These are some of our favorite things. I mean, we love the animals. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, I suppose you could pick, you know, spring flowers in them. Mm -hmm. And now these, these are almost like dolls because they have jointed arms. And the uh, thing is there we go. So they That's have great. To all Show have... them again the jointed arms on those. That's amazing. Thank you. So the half doll, half figurine. Mm -hmm. It's a hybrid. A hybrid. Yes. Yeah. You get everything with this. And then, uh, not, and then and they, we only they even the... put clothes on that and one. And we have three sizes. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, I always like to do that. Now, this is part of that funny naked boy and girl series. And you can see that these were vases. Yeah. And look at the face on that one. You gotta see that face. Oh, that's great. Isn't that wild? And then it was like the uh, from part one, like the fighters that we had in part one. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this one's running away. And then look at this poor girl. She's crying. Uh -huh. She's cute, and he's looking out. And this pair is just I don't know. They're wandering around looking for something. I'm Another not sure. little spill vase on there. Yep. Yeah, these have, yeah, these are all no vases. Yeah. And actually, I like them when they have vases because they stand better. Mm -hmm. So that's my thing. Now, these are just piano babies. Classic piano with babies. Eggs. Yep. So I 
kept one of each color. Of is that for tips on the piano, if you played well? Maybe, <laughs> but I think it's about a dime or a penny you might get. Now, these I filled up with dollars. Um, the only Hubach vase we own. Yeah. I love this thing. It's interesting because it's covered in that snow. Mm -hmm. I mean, thick snow. The texture's and, great. And it's marked Hubach. And it's a winter scene. But it feels great. It feels wonderful. Mm-hmm. So that's basic. And then these are that obviously that's a little spring vase and these are that's kind of a big thing. Do you mm -hmm. think candy? A little planner. Oh a planner, okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then nice little tip little, little uh, pin, pin tray. tray. Mm-hmm. She's neat. Isn't she cute? And she has the same edging the same as the figurines yeah. and everything. So they did a lot of different utilitarian pieces. What do we now this here? is a, obviously a planter. He told me this earlier. I'm assuming <laughs> well, the size of that. I'm thing. assuming, but it's a great little container. Yeah. And then that's a vase. Four kids on a log. And I think it's pretty much the same kid. Yeah, I love this thing. So do you want to tell them, or you want me to tell them what's wrapped up in there? Oh. I, I thought, I, I thought, I don't know. You know what that is? It, well, no, it, it's a, no, it's a vase, no, but it's sheet music. That's cool. I think there's, you, there's, um, you, see you can notes? see the musical notes. See that? It's amazing. That's a sweet little piece. I've never seen that one again. On the roses. Look how great those are. Applied. I know. I think we've developed a new appreciation, don't you think? Well, that's what happens every time we do these programs. It's like, oh yeah. We, wow, I really love, we love that. this stuff. Yep. We don't keep it for nothing. I love, love I love that the, the head is into the bag on this one. I know, look at that. We had a good discussion about what this is. <laughs> we, I, I figure maybe it's for candy. Yeah. Cause cause, it's sort of weird to put flowers in. I know, because look at the size of the opening. Mm -hmm. If you own it, you can put anything you want in it. It's true. It was full of money. Yeah. It, it was. That was one that had a ton of money in it. Mm -hmm. And then this is in the little vase. This is a little girl going mm -hmm. down hill. I love this polar bear. Isn't he cute? Well, you know, I always say he looks just like the polar bear from the Coca-Cola commercial. He does. I always want to put a bottle of Coke on top of that wreath. Well, you can do that. <laughs> but it's a great, great bear. I love the way they decorated the wreath. And he's hollow all the way down, so he can hold a lot. Mm-hmm. And then this has always been one of my most favorites of all. Oh, the snowsuit? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look how cute she is. Look at that face. Yep, and another big vase. Show them her backpack. It's like, she's Santa. And now all the textures. Well, she's pretty awesome. But that little face. Like I said, I'd love to find some dolls that look like some of these figurines. But... Get an overall shot here. Yep. Where are we going now? We are going over here, because these are boxes. So we're finishing up utilitarian. Oh, sorry folks for that fast ride. This is odd. Oh, I love this. So it's a humidor. Oh. Where's it marked? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> I well, can't follow it. Just be, <laughs> leave it on the table. <laughs> I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> so it's uh, definitely made, you know, in, for the American market. It's Native American. Oh, Hi, Ted. Hi, bud. And oh, show him the lid. And it's Jasperware, like Wedgwood style. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. and, there's the, and there's the opposite humidor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's, he's basically a piano baby head mm -hmm. with a removable cap. And then the, this is sweet. This is really sweet because this is... Um, like a little, little dresser babies. box. Yep. Three little babies. But just the coloring and the... There's the four. Modeling. There's a tiny one over here. Oh my God. Alright. Now I see it. Now I see it. And then this is, these two are sweet. Because look at the, the oh, kids yeah. on their on tough the pillows. pillows. Shh, pull one up, show them how it's a box. Isn't that amazing? Ta -da. So. That's cool. And one of the classic hoi box Probably of all time. The baby's in the basket. It's a. That's one of my absolute favorites. It's a great box. It comes in a multitude of sizes. This isn't the biggest, um, but and there is, this is, this is a tiny version. the smallest. Yeah, it's only got two kids. Here. There. Oh. And it's only got two. 
That's funny. Mm -hmm. Did you show all the four faces in that one? I want to get a close up. So it's amazing because it's. Because the way like, they peek out. It's like four of their doll heads all jammed in there. Mm -hmm. They're cute. Really. Did you show him? Or you want me to turn it yeah, over? Yeah, go if you can. Thank you. I don't know if you can tell how large it is, but it's for a piece of porcelain. It's yeah. Oh, it's, it's big. Large. It's heavy. They break frequently. Yeah. Um, oh, and this is, I didn't leave this with the Easter ones because it was a, it is a jar. Mm -hmm. So I just thought it was cute. I love it when they do that fade. Mm -hmm. Jointed arms. Jointed arms. <laughs> it's got it all. Yeah. It's cute. And then this is a real cute one. Look at this. It's like a snail. Yep. Super rare, isn't it? Yep. Turn it around towards this area. Yep. Now they probably should talk about condition a little bit. Because you have to accept some damage on Hubok figurines, particularly mm -hmm. the utilitarian ones. And this this particular one has a repair on the in the oh, lid, lid mm -hmm. which you know, being so rare, it's the only way we can. Well, that what I thought was I'd rather have it repaired than not have the lid at all. Like they could mm -hmm. just thrown it away, so I'm happy. To... Well, and there's there's always little chips and yeah, and I little it. little things because we're always trying to upgrade to the best example we can, just like dolls. But you know, you have to say hi to Teddy. It. Hey, Teddy. Well, that's more complicated camera work. Aw, I, okay. <laughs> I really hate this thing. Here we there go. go. There he is. Say hi, hi Ted. Ted. Hi, Ted. He's good. <laughs> He's good. All right. Oh, let's you go. You your thing here. Okay. So this is my absolute favorite. I know you get tired of me saying everything's my favorite, but this is my favorite. I love dogs, obviously, and this is a father and his this is the mother and look at their look at their kids that's great Isn't that cute they have two boys and two girls i never get tired of them i know i know but look at him with this uh he's a smoker he's a smoker but he also i think has a toothache i'm assuming well was he what would he be wearing that or is you, he cold <laughs> i've thought about this it, it, this is funny I, these are the things i think about uh -huh. i think how did why did they do that and i thought well, the only way they could maybe get the model to hold, maybe they were modeling oh, it to and to hold pipe. the pipe in, they thought, oh, well, they sort of tie it in. Because what's a dog going to do? He's going to spit the pipe out. That's but, true. And look, I, at, look at that one with the big bib. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Look at those eyes. And then this is... This is These are, and they would have been piano babies, really, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. But this is the older son. This is from a previous litter. <laughs> Oh, look at him. Oh, he's got great coloring. I know. I don't even remember him. I'll well, see. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the ones muzzles that are, that are in training. They, mm -hmm. They're wearing their muzzles. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to put my muzzle on this morning. Well, and we're not going out, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> and I love these ones that are on their yeah. haunches. This is, well, they're all the standing poodle types, but I love this with the... I've heard of standard poodles. Is that a standing poodle? I guess so. <laughs> and maybe he's not a poodle because his hair's straight. Yeah, I don't know. I just think they're cute dogs. Maybe they're... Mm -hmm. I don't know. And what's this guy? He's cute. Uh, I don't great know. Great with a ball. He's just playing. He's just funny. He's got his mark there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What kind of dog he is. And this is like a little match. Oh, I had to have a cat here. <laughs> yeah, and it's a little match safe, and you can see the striker right on the front. Is that like a Keystone cop kind yeah. of guy? Mm -hmm. Isn't it cute? Definitely. Keystone cat. Oh, Keystone cat. Yeah. And then these are just two... Two more boys. figurines, Poly but with pups. puppies. Yeah. As I was sorting and sorting and sorting, I was They have the same mold, but... The quality between the two is night and day. Well, that's what you'd see when you get big and little. I mean, that's a perfect example. I mean, just, I love this jacket. Well, look at his face. Look at the, look at the um, detail on his face. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, obviously they were far more expensive. Even his spats, look at his spats, the way they're painted. And they didn't even bother painting those. Mm -hmm. So they must have so, multiple price points. Are we ready to go for the adults? Yeah. Now we're gonna show oh. our oh. Dutch kids. Because we oh, like yeah. Dutch kids. Yeah, they made a whole series. <laughs> well, I hope you took your Dramamine. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I really try. So they made a whole series of these wonderful Dutch kids in different positions. So the large ones back there. These are... Uh, we've even seen them where they're, they're, they're made together, sitting back to back. I think we have that pair down the shore. I know. Won't be going there. These are vases. But there's that. Yeah. And then when I have this little group of. And then figures, these are all these little tiny novelty ones. Like they're dancing, dancing and singing. And this is a ring around the rosy. And it's a glazed little bud vase. Yeah. But they're cute. I have these in with my all bisques and things. Mm -hmm. Just this. And then look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> back, back to back. Right? Yeah. Before funny? and after. Before and after. Yeah. Before, before filming, after filming. Oh. <laughs> we um, joke, but we actually get along really well. <laughs> well, that's why we get along really well, because we joke all the time. <laughs> um, that's the same pair without the... Uh, without the, ba that mat, the basket okay. on the back. Yeah. And they made lots of sizes of these. Teddy's not watching. People just walk by the shop. Huh? And finally, we'll get into, we don't really collect adults. They made a lot of adult figurines. You can see the big group here, just overall shot. But it's not, we've always, obviously, because of dolls, we've always collected child dolls. And so the figurines were, were drawn to, to collecting children. So, but they made a great series, a lot of sporting ones. One, a lot of famous ones are like, there's football and there's baseball. baseball. Yeah. But the, you know, bicycling was so popular. So, but what's amazing about this pair is that those bikes remove are removable. I have them the tied turn? in. With the yep, turn? the wheels turn. They have rubber tires. They're metal bikes uh, and bisque figurines. Well, pretty longer, is that rubber going to stay there? That's well, heading off. they're original, so. Take good care of them. And then they also made integrally molded bikes and these figure these this two pair are actually larger than the ones with removable bikes i think they're nicer yeah. i mean i know that people like these but look at i think the quality is better the bike is smaller but the figure's bigger go yeah that's an odd thing there we go but i like the way they molded the bikes behind them as mm -hmm. it looks more natural well i think that having the separate bikes was super complicated too and, oh, I'm sure. And they had yeah. to buy them. Mm -hmm. So. But the, it's much rarer to find a removable bike, but the molded bike is, a, a, in general, a better designed Yeah, this is figure. prettier. This is prettier. I love these, the fencing. Yeah. So we have two They're fencing really ladies. Yeah, we have a third one, but she's not here. And they have little removable metal swords mm -hmm. or is that the fence what do they what is that um, i don't know what they call fencing a fencing sword yeah, there we go something like that <laughs> we'll get through this yeah good it's almost over uh -huh. <laughs> and here's a nice pair a uh, fishmonger and his uh, wife yeah and classic hoibach uh, the little girl pastel colors yeah one more child before we go. I just put her with this group because she had stronger colors. She could have gone over there, I guess. Mm -hmm. This one looks just downright bored. <laughs> Doesn't she? Serene. She's contemplating. Okay. All right. And then these, we have two different figurines with tambourines. The adults. You got to love the monkey grinder, though. Yeah, I love him. He's awesome. Well, we call him Monkey Man around the house. Yeah, look at that. How many times a week do I ask for a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> How many times a day do you ask for a monkey? That's true. But Teddy says no. Yep. And the final figurine. 
She's and that's interesting. Music. Yep, yeah. she has a portfolio of music there. So, you know, that is the extent of our figurine collection and the dolls. Do you want to do one more shot over here of the dolls? Sure. Sure. And I'll have you say. I'm sure if you have any questions, we'll be live watching when this is on. You can ask us questions if you like. Yep. We, we may have to research the answer, but we'll try to get back to you. And I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed part two of uh, Gebruder, Gebruder Heubach. And, uh, you can say Heubach, honey. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> so I hope everyone has been enjoying the virtual doll convention. And thank you again to Rachel Hoffman. And do you want to say anything, Beck? Well, I do want to thank Rachel. And I do want to say hi to everybody and all our friends that are... You know, staying at home worldwide, we're all in this together, and we'll we'll get through it. So. We'll all see we'll see you all very soon yes. at a doll show or a doll convention. Um, yep, and, and come say hi to us. Yep. Uh, we miss our friends. Yep. So thanks. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Bye.